Aranda! Like a sunrise. Hey guys, Jake Mellor here. Do you remember how good ads used to be back in the early 2000s when you were a kid? I do. So let's take a walk down memory lane and check out some of the classic ads of the early 2000s. Let me know down in the comments if you remember them, and obviously let me know the ones that I may have forgotten. And if you like what you see, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. And so it's time for a little segment I like to call, Let's React to That. I went fishing in Matini the other day and I ran into this charter what boat. Charter boat? You didn't see it. No, oh, anyway, because I've got RACQ boat insurance, I'm covered. How could you not see a charter boat? Whether you want to cover your boat against damage or just for the damage it may cause. Isn't it crazy that those, uh, those shirts were like the old dad Aussie look and now they're like, you've got people like the rock wearing it. Everyone's wearing it. Wouldn't be without them, would you? Yeah, that was a good one. I remember that one. That was sick. Charter boat? What charter boat? Does anyone else remember that one with the dog as well? Um, it's like there was this one that I remember it was a dog. They were talking to the camera as they do and then uh, they're trying to find the dog and the dog's like on the jet ski or something behind it. He's always doing this. Ah, uh, RACQ. Wouldn't be without them, would you? Alright, what's the next one we've got? Dad. Um, oh yeah. Do the Great Wall of China. That would... That was the, com the confusion on his face during the time of Emperor Nazi Goring, and uh, it was to keep the rabbits out. There's too many rabbits in China. Okay, now Daniel will do his talk on China. See, now that I'm adulting, I totally get what this dad was saying. I don't know why they made the Great Wall of China. I'm sure there is a reason. And what I do know is it isn't to keep the rabbits out. I 100% guarantee if or when I ever have kids, I will be bullshitting them 24-7. Yeah, I'm so gonna rule my kids. Okay, so far so good. I still reference this ad today. I literally referenced this, like, last week. Video fiesta. I use this ad so often still to this day. It generally is revolved around food. It'll be something like, Hey Jake, should we get pizza or the wings? Oh, why don't we have both? <laughs> hey Jake, are bowling or movies tonight? Oh, why don't we have both? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, hey Jake, would you like a broken humerus or a shattered elbow? Oh, why don't we... Oh. A bowl of milk, thanks. Low fat, no fat, full cream, high calcium, high protein soy, light skim, omega-3, high calcium with vitamin D and folate or extra dollop. Extra dollop. Uh, I just want milk that tastes uh, like real milk. I just milk. want milk that tastes like real milk. This tastes like full cream milk. And only 2% fat. <laughs> Paul's smarter white milk. Smart choice. I love this ad. More so now looking back because of how clever it was. Does anybody else give a about what milk you get? I don't, I just go for the cheapest milk. I'm a skim guy, you know, uh, light milk. I like to look after my figure, but either or I literally just go the cheapest milk. I don't even know if milk has a different taste. Can anybody else taste the difference between Paul's and Cole's brand? Another great ad though. Hey, hello Fossum. Don't mm. eat the dinosaur, daddy. The natural confectionery company jellies. You know what's in these? No artificial colours, no artificial flavours, and 99% fat free. Fat free? Don't chop the dinosaur, Daddy! The Natural Confectionery Company. No artificial colours, no artificial flavours, 99% fat free. Chop it! Alright, let me first start by saying a couple of things. Cutting an orange? Orange and green and yellow are the worst flavours of little jelly lollies. You gotta go red, blue is a good one, um, the clear white colour, and uh, I'm an aniseed man, you know? I like me some licorice, so if I'm having jelly beans, I'm gonna go for the black ones, or the pink ones, because they're kind of an off of, off of red. Orange? I like my orange soft drinks, but that's as far as my orange goes. Well, a bit of an orange beer as well. For eating and drinking, maybe an orange chicken I'll go with, or an orange. I'm rambling now. I think basically I just don't like orange lollies. And what was up with 99% fat free? Is that a thing I should be worried about with fat being in like lollies? Maybe chocolate, but like jelly lollies? How much sugar's in it? I actually heard a rumor when there's no artificial colors or artificial flavors, they're using like colored bugs. But now that I'm saying that out loud, I think my friend was just messing with me. 
I've always dreamt of doing something more exotic. Ah, and Rhonda. 15% off my insurance, Amy Safe Driver Awards helped me get there. I make special drink for you today, Rhonda. Thank you. You look so hot today. Oh. Like a sunrise. You like don't a sunrise. Know. Thank you, Katut. Remember, Thank you. eyes on the road, Rhonda. Amy Safe Driver Awards offer up to 15% discount for drivers who don't claim. Where will the savings take you? It's had a whole spin-off series in itself. I think there was one where uh, Katut came back home. It was like um, Crocodile Dundee, where he's doing all Katut things on the mainland. That would make a great miniseries. The Adventures of Katut, until the studio makes him go kaput. I apologise for that joke. That was terrible. You should never tell an astronaut he's going I have a fun fact far. about this ad, actually. You should always wear clean undies. Case you're hit by a car. And always check the footpath. Before, Before you, you check, check the skies, and you should only call a yellow cab on days of end and why. Oh, the yellow! Only call a yellow cab on days of end and why. Man, that dates it. Who orders? Who orders cabs anymore? You see the the old flip phone? I had a flip phone. And the fun fact is my music teacher, uh, Mr. Watson, actually sang that song. And they asked him if he could do it in a Louis Armstrong accent. You know the guy who did, I see trees of green. If you play it back again and listen, it'll actually sound a bit Louis Armstrong. Um, but for anyone who went to my school, that was Mr. Watson, who uh, just have a listen back, you'll be able to actually hear his voice in it, which is pretty sick. All right, so that's enough nostalgia for one day. They were probably some of my favorite ones that I remember growing up. We obviously didn't have the, uh, the Coddy's one, which was really good. The My Mum is Making Canton, that was excellent. Maybe it's because I exclusively watch YouTube and Netflix now and don't watch any TV. I don't even know if my TV's hooked up. It must be. Anyway, those ads from back in the day, awesome. I can pretty much say and sing all of those ads word for word, and I probably haven't seen those ads in 10 years. If you want to give it a try, rewatch the video, see if you can sing along to them or speak along to them. So thank you so much guys for watching. This was my first react to that video. I literally thought of the name as I was filming. It just rhymed, it just felt natural, so I'm gonna go with it. As I said, if there's any other memorable Australian ads that you remember, let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a share or tag somebody in it. If someone you know will get a lot of joy in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and remember, work hard and be lucky.